Good day, students. So in this group, we're going to be going over an example on uh, proof by mathematical induction. So what we're going to prove uh, in this uh, part is uh, we're going to prove that, um, let's write it down, prove that uh, n is less than 2 to the n for all positive integers. Positive integers. N. So basically, n are uh, greater than or equal to 1, where n is in the set of, of uh, integers, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and um, do, do the proof. So to do that, let's talk about the plan first, and then we're going to implement the plan. So the plan is a three-part process. So part one, we're going to uh, show that the foundation of the base case is true, okay? We'll do the base case first, and then part two... Uh, we're going to make a hypothesis, okay, it's known as the uh, inductive hypothesis. So for the inductive hypothesis, we're just going to assume that this statement is true, let's say for n equals k, and then the big part is the inductive step, all right? That's part three, the inductive step. And if we can show that uh, if any, at any n if we assume that n is true, if we can show that the next step is also true, then that uh, pattern carries for all integers n, where n is greater than or equal to 1, okay? So that's this is basically the setup of, of uh, the, the proof we're going to be doing. All right, so let's start with part 1, the base case. Base case. Now, uh, in this case, we want to show uh, the statement is true for n equals 1. Because for the set of all positive integers, the first one or the base is n equals uh, 1, is 1, okay? So let's see if the foundation is solid so we can make it a, an inductive hypothesis. So to for the base case, all you do is plug in 1 into the statement and see if you arrive at a true statement, all right? So plug in 1. The question is, is 1 less than 2 to the 1? Is 1 less than 2? Absolutely. So we can see that the base case holds. All right, part 2 is the inductive hypothesis, inductive hypothesis. So for the inductive hypothesis, we're going to assume that uh, this, the statement is true for n equals k, okay? So for this one, assume about truth for n equals k. Okay, so what on earth does that look like? You just simply uh, plug in k into the statement and assume that that's true, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that, assume that k is always less than 2 to the k uh, for all uh, k greater than or equal to 1, okay? Uh, with, we've got to remember that k is in the set of, uh, of integers. All right. Now, um, let's go ahead and move to part three, step three, which is the inductive step. Okay, so we just picked an arbitrary k. It could be any integer, and assume that that's true. Now, can we show that the next step, for the next integer following that, it is also true? If we can do that, uh, then we can conclude that this statement is true for all positive integers greater than or equal to 1, okay? So this is called inductive step, inductive step, all right? Uh, so for the inductive step, what we're just going to do is we're going to show, uh, show that true for uh, k implies truth for k plus 1, the next step, okay? So if I, if I plug in uh, k plus 1 on the left side of the inequality, can I arrive with a true statement uh, on the right side using this as a, using um, the inductive hypothesis as a basis for my argument, all right? So this is what I want it to look like. I want to be able to state that uh, k plus 1 is less than 2 to the k plus 1. This is my end goal, okay? Notice how this is k is less than 2k, 2 to the k. Now, if I can show that k plus 1, the next step, is less than 2 to the k plus 1, 
And that shows that for every step we take, we're guaranteed to arrive at a true statement. So this is the ultimate goal that I desire right here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, so I'm going to start uh, by writing down some statements, um, starting with our um, inductive hypothesis. All right, well, actually, we'll use that later. So let's start with the statement. We know that one is less than or equal to K, okay? Um, because we know that if K is equal to one, we have a true statement. And we know K is a set of all positive um, integers. So this, the first uh, positive integer is one. So um, that's when we, have a tr when we have an equality. And then when K becomes two, three, four, five, and on and on and on, then it's one is going to be less than them. Okay, so for k uh, greater than or equal to one. Okay, we know that this statement is true. All right, now um, how about I add k to both sides? So I have one plus k is less than or equal to k plus k. Because if I add k to both sides, it still preserves the, the inequality, the amount of the inequality, since I added the same uh, quantity to both sides. All right. Okay. So um, let's. I can rewrite this using the um, commutative property of addition. K plus one is less than or equal to um, k plus k. But for my inductive hypothesis, I know that k is less than two k plus one. Okay. So this k is going to be less than two k plus one, and this k also is less than 2k plus 1. So what can I conclude? I can conclude that this has to be strictly less than 2 to the k plus 2 to the k, because I know that this is less than 2 to the k, and another copy of it is also less than 2 to the k. Hence, the sum is going to be less than the sum of these two, all right? Where k is a uh, set of all positive integers, uh, yeah, a set of all positive integers, okay? Now, this is where we, we use the uh, inductive hypothesis. I'm going to just put a side, side remark here so you understand what I'm saying. So since uh, k is less than 2 to the k. All right. Um, all right. So let's do some um, algebraic tricks here to um, show that um, the statement is going to be true. So what is 2 to the k plus 2 to the k? Well, we have, uh, I can factor out well, let me write it this way. Less than 1 times 2 to the k plus 1 times 2 to the k. All right? So what do you notice here? You notice that 2 to the k is common on these two terms, right? So with that, I can factor out the common term, 2 to the k. And what am I left with? I'm left with 1 plus 1. Okay? So that original statement is less than 2 to the k. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, all right, um, so this is less than this, so we guarantee that k plus 1 is less than 2 to the k times 2. So let's uh, make use of uh, some properties of exponents here. So let's see, this is, I can express 2 as 2 to the first power, right? So k plus 1 is less than 2 to the k if you're multiplying... Um, two exponents with the same base, we use the um, product of powers property of exponents. Let me put that on the side here. So if you have a to the x times a to the y, the power of products property of exponents, um, product of powers property tells you that you just simply add the powers, right? So uh, we can apply that here to the product of powers property of exponents. This is gonna be two to the k plus one, all right? So you see the, the next step on the, on the left side resulted in um, a next step on the right side also, okay? So this is basically uh, uh, what, what the goal is, all right? So in conclusion, we can say that since uh, truth for k uh, follows that k plus 1 is also true, then uh, the original statement is true, okay? The 
original statement is true. So all we just need is a foundation, which was the base case. And then if I can show that for any arbitrary step I pick, the next step will also be true. Then it's like a domino effect. Then I'm guaranteed that um, the statement will hold for all positive integers. So we can conclude the statement is true by a mathematical induction. Okay, so that basically completes the proof. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, and please uh, post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips can be found on macroservice.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.